Hi, my name is Christina Le. I am a certified wound specialist and chief nursing officer for Wound Care Advantage, and I am also a WCU alumni. I got into wound care because I like gross things. Um, it kind of started my passion right from the beginning of my nursing career, and I knew that I wanted to be a specialist in it and to help those who were suffering from chronic wounds to heal and be live a better life. Wound care is such a big issue in nursing. Everyone's gonna see it, everyone's gonna deal with wounds, but the problem is we're not learning enough about it in nursing school. Um, we are taught for very little, for a very quick moment in time, um, and there's just not enough information about it. And I think every nurse, no matter what field you're in, you're gonna come across wounds, and it's so important to understand what wound care is and how to treat your patients. I think you should become a wound care nurse because wound care nurses are special in that there are not a lot of us. It is a specialized field and you get to care for patients that you see often, build a relationship with and see them from start to finish and see them live a better life and there's just nothing better. A lot of the times I hear new grads thinking that they have to have years of experience prior to getting into wound care, and that's just not true. We love new grads. Uh, we love West Coast graduates getting into wound care and learning about it and becoming specialists early on. What is wound care? Over 6 million people in the United States are suffering from non-healing wounds or wounds that just don't heal. Wound care can change that and give back patients their quality of life. Wound care is taking hard to heal wounds head on, managing the care and treatment for the patient from start to finish. The focus of this video will be to explore this question. Wound care is the complete management of chronic wounds. To understand what makes a wound chronic, the healing process must first be understood. In a healthy patient, the wound will move through four phases of healing, hemostasis, inflammatory, proliferation, and maturation. The first phase of healing is hemostasis, also known as platelet infiltration phase. Upon injury, hemostasis triggers vascular response. Blood vessels constrict to both stop the bleeding and reduce the risk of bacterial exposure. Platelet aggregation aids clotting as the body is working hard to achieve bleeding cessation. Once bleeding is controlled, the body can move to the next stage of healing, the inflammatory phase. During the inflammatory phase, the body begins to fight infection. It is here that the process of phagocytosis occurs as neutrophils infiltrate the wound site to remove bacteria. After the inflammatory stage, the healing process will move into proliferation. When a wound moves into the proliferative stage, reconstruction and regeneration has begun. Connective tissue begins to form a scaffold of collagen fibers as fibroblasts secrete collagen. The body experiences a growth of healthy granulation tissue in the wound bed consisting of macrophages, fibroblasts, immature collagen, blood vessels, and ground substance. The last stage of the healing process ends with the maturation phase, or commonly known as the remodeling stage, and can last up to two years after the formation of a scar. Throughout the maturation phase, the wound margins move inward as epithelial cells migrate across the granulation tissue to form new skin tissue. Though fragile at first, the cells will eventually differentiate and form various layers of the epidermis. Wounds that become chronic most commonly get stuck in the inflammatory and proliferation stage. However, if a wound becomes stalled in any phase for more than 30 days, it's considered chronic. Chronic wounds are a mixture of patient factors, local factors, and both macro and micro biochemical wound environments. Wound care helps determine why a wound has become non-healing, and the care team takes that consideration and any underlying comorbidities that may be preventing the wound from healing when creating a treatment plan. When dealing with a chronic wound, it is important to remember that the primary focus should not be on the wound itself. Without looking at the entire patient and just the wound, the care team can continually be frustrated at the lack of healing. The first step to caring for any chronic wound is to find out the etiology of the wound. So basically, what is causing the wound not to heal? Before beginning, it's important to understand the difference between the cause of the wound and the etiology. This cause refers to the event that initially broke the skin, such as stubbing a toe, an insect bite, or a blister. Etiology examines the underlying condition that's keeping the wound from not healing. Before wheeling in expensive equipment and ordering complex tests, you'll need the oldest tool in the wound care trade to determine the etiology, your senses. Sight is the first sense you'll want to use when assessing a wound. When examining the wound, ask yourself the following questions. What color is the wound bed and the surrounding skin? Is necrotic tissue present? Are the bone, muscle, and or tendon exposed? Is there tunneling or undermining? What color is the drainage and how much is there? Once you've had a good look at the wound and can answer those preliminary questions, the next sense to use to evaluate the wound is your sense of smell. Your sense of smell will determine if an infection is present. During the part of the assessment, try to answer the questions like, 
What kind of odor is the wound giving off? Does the odor continue even after the wound is cleansed? Touch is your last sense to utilize when assessing a wound. During the physical examination, pay attention to how the wound feels. Ask yourself, is the surrounding skin warm or cool to the touch? Is the skin unusually firm? When using your senses, you limit the time and expense for the patient when determining wound types. So my favorite sense to use is smell. And it's gross because all wounds smell. But it is, it's kind of interesting as you get used to the industry and used to what wound care is, you can identify actually what infection is present in a wound. Um, I know I use my sense often and can know immediately if a wound is infected or if a wound had a dressing on too long or even if there's just too much exudate in that wound. It's very interesting how much you can pick up with your nose. So to summarize, wound care is the complete management of chronic wounds. We began the video by discussing the different healing processes, and we understood the knowledge to help us identify when during the healing process the wound is classified as a chronic wound. So don't forget, you don't need expensive tests to identify the etiology. Just use your senses.